Grace and peace to you, family. This is uh, Bishop, and um, I am here on the first day, the morning of our 21-day consecration. First of all, to all that are joining us, thank you. To all that are doing what they can do in a partial way, thank you. To everybody, understand that we're doing this for the following reasons. Isaiah 58 talks about, is not this the fast that God has chosen to loose the bands of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke. I'm not talking about an egg, of course, but we're talking about the yoke of uh, bondage around the neck. Now, we have several things that we are waiting to see manifest. We have a major grant that God has uh, given us uh, to apply for. And um, we also have major things going on regarding other projects that have been placed before us. And we need to be ready. One of those things that you're going to find what we are doing is bathing what we're doing in prayer. Prayer precedes every major move of God. I don't care who you are. I don't care how gifted you may be. Without prayer, we're powerless. You all understand that. Without prayer, we are powerless. And that's what we cannot afford to be under no circumstances. The Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, and spiritual wickedness in high places. Beloved, we're in a fight. And each time that any group of people or any individual seek to expand the kingdom of God, there's a fight. So I'm a, I'm a veteran. I'm a general in the kingdom. And we have several partners of our church that are very mature and maybe generals in their own right. We have to not look at challenges as something to run from and acknowledge the fact that challenges are things we have to be prepared for. As long as you live, there will be challenges. As long as you live for Christ, there will be forces of darkness that will seek to tear you down, stop you, hinder you. Now, as I've always said, they cannot stop God, but they seek to stop us, okay? So we must grab hold to the reality of the fact that in the fights that we get in, we fight because we win. We, we, we fight because we do not want to give ground to the enemy under no circumstances. You know, we're not wimps. We're warriors. We're worshipers. We win. Okay? Remember those three words, my alliteration. We're warriors. We're worshipers. And we win. And I want everybody to keep that in mind. That we are warriors. We are worshipers. And we win. I'll just let Pastor Al know I'm, I'm doing a, uh, I'm doing a taping. So she's getting back in the car with her beautiful self. And um, I want everybody to understand that. Pastor Al, I told the people we're warriors, we're worshipers, and we win. <laughs> we do. And it's not always, you know, looking that way in the middle of the fight. So I, I need y'all to grab that. And I need you to remember that, okay? So we're being real with you. We're going forward in the power of God. And we're doing what the Lord would have us to do. But I want you to understand this is the first day of our consecration. I want you to join us. I want you to join us in prayer every day. Every day. There will be prayer over the phone every day on our prayer line at 615. There will be prayer every Wednesday at uh, 6 o'clock in the evening. And I want you to be a part of that. I want you to find time, turn off the TV for a while, spend time in your word and in private prayer. But we will be emailing, we will be texting an agenda so that we can all be praying about the same thing. But I just wanted to post this. I said the a daily inspiration will be about five minutes, so I'm getting ready to get off. But this is a start. 
We are right. We're right. We're ready. We're ripe and ready to go forward in the power of God. So life builders, let's do this. Let's do it. God bless.